to have you paramjit ji and uh, congratulations on the release of sahaj prakriti uh, i would like you to uh, tell us about how sahaj prakriti came into being uh, in fact it was uh, a year ago when vinod bhardwaj asked me if he can write a book on me in hindi and i was very much struck with the idea and i said it's a wonderful idea because uh, there are hardly any books in um, uh, our own languages and our students in universities common man who can read that all all the people cannot read uh, english language books and english language are, they have developed the art vocabulary in this way when you write in hindi the people will write more and the art vocabulary in hindi will well then i said that i would like it to get it translated into punjabi mm -hmm. uh, and and i told him that i am even more enthusiastic about to come into punjabi mm -hmm. uh, because there is nothing at all in punjabi well, even right. mm -hmm. in hindi you can have even uh, reviews on art mm -hmm. in hindi magazine but in punjabi magazine there is no, nothing yeah, about art that's true so i was indirectly in heart of my heart i was more enthusiastic about this mm -hmm. so he said yes fine and uh, amar ji chandan is my friend he told me that mm -hmm. he is and i will request him i will ask him and i never knew amar ji chandan mm -hmm. and it is my ignorance that i never knew that he is such a famous poet of punjabi language mm -hmm. and my mother tongue is punjabi so i am very ashamed of that i didn't know that but i said if he is a very good writer so wonderful mm -hmm. so he wrote the book and the process was long the whole one year passed many interviews and things like that mm -hmm. and because now i am uh, the last part of my life so mm -hmm. i have so, lived so much mm -hmm. so there's no end to the stories that's yeah. true yeah if you open up your pandora's box mm -hmm. it never ends yeah? that's true so <laughs> so then the interview went on and mm -hmm. vinod bhatwaj compiled that book i think very interestingly mm -hmm. there is especially it's a story form and people like to read that my interview and that and the other people's thoughts on me mm -hmm. and my childhood and my family background and and the best part is which i wanted mm -hmm. it i said uh, nothing doing it might get expensive mm -hmm. but it must be pictorially very sound okay. because it's art book yeah, it it's a, it's a book on a mm -hmm. visual thing yeah. and if it is not visually attractive it's meaningless yes sir so that book came and visually it was very good then that book was sent to london to amarjit chandan mm -hmm. and he was thrilled mm -hmm. uh, to read that book and he joked in the he said that i will improve on this oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he did <laughs> and he did and bruno said yes says you can improve on this <laughs> so then he started translating and sending me the chapter by and i read it and i really enjoyed it Mm -hmm. so i was very thrilled then i told chandan please you also compose it mm -hmm. because uh, my designer does not know punjabi mm -hmm. here okay. it will be very difficult mm -hmm. so format my designer has already produced before you mm -hmm. in hindi mm -hmm. so follow that format mm -hmm. of the columns and titles mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. and just go on translating whatever it Which comes there mm -hmm. so he went exa uh, did exactly like that and he used a beautiful language and then he asked me, then i uh, he translated his uh, mm, introduction mm -hmm. you know the badwa introduction his writing his titles everything he did mm -hmm. so then i thought <coughs> there must be a page mm -hmm. which is as a translator's page translator uh, who has translated he yeah. also should give his thought So yes. then he wrote a very beautiful page, which he read today, today. here. That is beautiful. Uh, which part of it he read? Darshan Prachan yes. that month is beautiful. Yeah. So in that way, finally, mm -hmm. uh, the book in Punjabi came into existence, and uh, then uh, I I had no idea that uh, what. Uh, the title of the punjabi book will be mm -hmm. because hindi title i did not understand yeah that It's was uh, it was a complex, complex eh? yeah. i didn't understand at that mm -hmm. time also so then he said i will call it sahaj prakriti mm -hmm. so it came into existence for so 
let's begin with Sahaj Prakriti. This is what your work is. Yeah. Uh, landscapes which are so natural, so beautiful, they retain their naturalness. How do you attain this? You recreate nature on canvas. Actually, uh, you know, <coughs> there is no formula mm -hmm. and there is no what you call <coughs> a, I have some capsule of creating or something not like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it deals with my background, with my family, with my childhood, mm -hmm. lot of this because I have been <coughs> brought up in surroundings of nature and things like that. So, I have always been impressed by the pictorial aspect of nature, mm -hmm. Kudrat. Mm -hmm. So, when I became art student mm -hmm. and uh, we started uh, learning everything, mm -hmm. figure drawing, figure painting, still life painting, landscape painting, mm -hmm. there were outdoor classes of landscape. And it was in Delhi, so we used to cycle outside Delhi mm -hmm. and Delhi ridges at that time were beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. there was abundance of nature, mm -hmm. texture of nature. So, then, so I was very much inspired by that. So, mm -hmm. even the, at those times when I made some composition with figures, nature was always present in, Here. Mm -hmm. All <coughs> in one way or other. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then, my teacher, Salos Mukherjee, mm -hmm. he was also a great landscape painter in okay. his own way, though mm -hmm. he used figure, but he was very mm -hmm. expressionistic mm -hmm. in putting pigments on the canvas. His influence was there. Then <coughs> we, as a student at that time in our college, mm -hmm. this French school of 19th century was, 19th and 20th century, was mm -hmm. very uh, prominent. important, very mm -hmm. prominent, very mm -hmm. popular. Mm -hmm. So, all these French painters mm. who have painted yeah. a lot of light yeah, and nature yeah, yeah. and yeah. foliage and what not. Mm. And so, that was another Monet, mm -hmm. yeah. Cezanne so, so. and all that. So, that was another influence. Mm. We were very much influenced. Then, we were using oil pigments mm -hmm. and they were masters of oil. oil. Mm. So, that yeah. also helped. So, your own childhood, your own development in in the, that kind of environment mm -hmm. of nature. Mm -hmm. Then in learning mm -hmm. while student also nature Many played factors. the part. Mm -hmm. Then the influence of the earlier painters that were also from nature. I mm -hmm. used to, if even uh, I was a student, I used to like uh, Rabindranath Tagore's landscape very mm -hmm. much. <coughs> that also. In fact, when I was 13 years old, mm -hmm. I, that is in the book also. Mm -hmm. So, I was just uh, going to the library of my grandfather, mm -hmm. who was professor of English. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got a very old kind of book, you know, classical printing. But they must have appreciated that young boy has at least chosen a better, to better to, way to, to copy. copy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> so, that is the background that I am always involved in mm -hmm. nature. So, that is my inspiration. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to give language to my aspirations. Yeah. And I have to learn techniques, I have to learn the, the character of the pigments, I have mm -hmm. to learn the handling of the pigments, mm -hmm. I have to see so many things, I have to learn so many things, and gradually it came into being, slowly and slowly, and then <coughs> after many years, after in 60s, mm -hmm. I was able to have a grasp mm -hmm. of the feel of the nature and uh, give something of my own. Yeah? My own language was little bit created. Though the vocabulary was limited, mm -hmm. but at least I found some words for my expressions. Yeah? But it became your own signature <laughs> <Yeah>. landscape. <laughs> so in that way, uh, <clears throat> so I became a later painter of nature, landscape painter. Though I have used many objects, I have painted and I have painted stones and still lives and earlier some figures. So, as far as Sahaj, uh, you know, Ek or bhi loves, Ek to ye to Sahaj Pragati hai. Ek hota hai jab aapke andar ek thought aata hai. 
आप उसको एक्सप्रेस करते हैं तो इफ यू हैव डेवलप्ड ए मास्टरी इफ यू हैव करियर इन आर्ट they begin painting nature but very often most artists get carried away by not what their calling is but what the fashion the demand of the market is you have always remained uh, a landscape artist and uh, nature painter and you have also expressed complexity of life through nature like this painting you had this two two paths going and uh, uh, there's so many different aspects so please talk about this is how did you give expression to so many different experiences but in the vocabulary of nature that i was talking about that uh, you know when i found that i have found some language hmm. yeah. now <coughs> painting is not a mechanical thing you hmm. know it is 1 2 3 4 5 chalo ji painting aap kar de hain it's not like that mm. there's a chemistry of mind something is going on and on your inspirations when you want to paint what should i paint mm. uh, you look into your own self the naturally it comes what you what you have grasped mm. where the nature played a lot of great role yeah, yeah. some painters are they are very much affected by the street scenes they are very much affected by the <coughs> mm. poverty and there yeah. but the labor and there is and that mm -hmm. and then they have also a that bend of mind mm. you know that all affects yeah. so i uh, i was never a social uh, painter, painter in that sense mm -hmm. i i was not social artist but i was a social artist because what i was painting the society was reacting to it so i became a social so artist also industry. in my own way yeah. so <coughs> so but my my uh, go down was nature from where i am picking the things yeah mm -hmm. and I, i and i was always wanted to fill my go down up to the top by seeing more nature by nature. grasping more nature mm -hmm. by thinking of its different aspects and mm -hmm. how to translate that into the mm, pigment uh, into the pigment into that language of color mm -hmm. language of strokes mm -hmm. like that so but the nature i see there is everybody sees there is a forest there are trees there is stones there everything and the light played a role mm. night day and i was wondering the same one little thing is changing within mm. span of 8 hours it gives you 50 loops every you know the same blade of grass is changing there so it's so much hidden there so now all these things are coming i am thinking but i am not aware ke ye dusre dekhenge kabhi aur main isko la paunga mujhe nahi pata hai but now when i think back i was reacting that once in there dun i got up i just got up it, it was a cold night huh? in rajpur very cold december Uh, February night, mm -hmm. and from the window I saw the moon was full, mm -hmm. and I uh, I think it was Puran Masi or something. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the night, when mm -hmm. the morning comes, the moon comes to the western side. Yeah. So I thought it was so mysterious. I at four o'clock I came out in that cold. At four o'clock I walked on the road. and i saw that moon through the woods that it was a world of different world it was not the exact world which we see every day so that is a food for my mind now those kind of thing naturally i am a painter i would like to paint but how to paint you know that is the thing so at that time if somebody comes there ye what is this uh, morning moon and all this thing here uh, people paint this festival or this thing this but i can't help it because that affected my mind uh, 
and that effect was sad. You know, <laughs> yeah, wo, uh, it was not planned. Hmm. That is the thing. Yeah. It was not planned. Ke no, main ab char baje, uh, ala, nah, uh, at 10 o'clock at night, I put a clock on alarm. I will get up at 4 and go out. And <laughs> yeah, at that time, I will reach Ganga and we have a dip. It was not planned like yeah. that. So, that was a connection with nature which was sad, which was just came by. So, those things affects the artist's mind. And uh, so, I was successful in some of paintings, at least, uh, at least a fragment of that. And when it is successfully come there, when it is, mm -hmm. when it is successfully expressed, yeah. then it do communicate. That's so, yes. that the role of that Sahaj Bharati in context with the audience, it came into existence. Throughout your journey, uh, the stone uh, period is it's very dramatic as well as it's, it's also very surreal. Yeah. So, as, as a viewer of art, I would like to understand how could you achieve this, this combination, this great combination. You know, of when, when I am learning, when I am learning this language, when I am, I am trying to become an artist and mm -hmm. learning its language, so naturally the influences are there. You mm -hmm. see other people's work, you see mm -hmm. books, you see. So, because I write from, in my mind, I think I was very fond of mystery in my childhood also. Mm -hmm. It must be there, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, it did affect me in the childhood. I could see, I will pick up, you know, that Tagore sunset I picked up. Mm -hmm. I could pick up and other things also. There were so yeah. much, uh, there were National Geographical magazine full of nature, mm -hmm. uh, full of photo, beautiful photographs. Yeah. yeah, so, but I, that was in our house. Mm -hmm. I did pick up that also, but this was more successful. Mm -hmm. and so, so, when I was, uh, uh, learning this, I was painting still lives and I was painting nature and I was combining it and because we were asked to create a composition, mm -hmm. so people will go and sketch figures and compose it, I will sketch mm. some burton or something and mm. landscape and compose it, you know, up mm -hmm. the way you are. Yeah. So at that time I was using these still objects and then later these still objects were a vocabulary, a literal vocabulary, bottle is bottle. Yeah. Was is was, eh? mm -hmm. so whatever you name it. Mm -hmm. But then I came across when I was traveling in Himachal in seventies. Mm -hmm. I came across beautiful boulders, stones, mm -hmm. and they were solid. They had the sh shape, and they were still, mm -hmm. and they were, mm, and they have any geometry can be stone. You, there's no particular yeah, geometry. Uh, any yeah. geometry can be stone. So I reacted very much. So I placed my, uh, replaced mm -hmm. uh, my objects. Uh, literal objects into stones. Mm -hmm. So I came to stones. So my with landscape drop. I, then I used to see some of uh, European paintings and things like that. There was mm -hmm. some connection I found in this surrealistic work. Mm -hmm. So I also tried to use those objects with the backdrop mm -hmm. of landscape to mm -hmm. create a mystery something yeah. mystic, something dreamy, yeah. something it's very surreal. Uh, uh, very surreal huh? uh, and the way then stones started flying, which I explained in one this, the very first, I was mm. just holding a stone against the canvas and the shadow fell actually, mm. so I painted that shadow and they lost its weight, gravity and they started flying. So I painted for many years my stones and Paintings are dramatic, fanta fantasy, element of fantasy. Eh? You know, I am a director and creating a drama out of it. Mm. So, then again I travelled a lot in nature. Mm. So, then I found there is a texture, there is a lot of crispness yeah. in the nature, which, which uh, can be, how it can be mm -hmm. uh, portrayed or how it can be expressed through the Don't pigments. So, there is a one, mm, I have told many times, I have told that thing in book also. Mm -hmm. So, once I was walking in the forest in Himachal, mm -hmm. Punjab hills, but mm -hmm. there. So, the, it was thick forest mm -hmm. and 
you walk under that and the light was filtering down yeah. on the earth. Very simple mm -hmm. thing and everybody goes there and walks. But the, when the light was falling on those fallen leaves, mm -hmm. it created a very special kind of texture. And when you walk, it's mm. still, mm. there's no sound, maybe a sound of some bird here and there, mm -hmm. but there's no other sound. Eh? Mm -hmm. And when you walk, the, your mm, feet yes. make a noise yes. on dried leaves. Mm. Eh? Mm. So, so that, that I stopped and I think this light, this trees and that fallen texture, mm -hmm. I want to paint. So, and I did paint and then somebody hmm. wrote on me hmm. and he wrote, you can feel the crunch of the fallen leaves, leaves with your eyes. That <laughs> That's was, beautiful. Yeah. So, the, so in that way, you know, again, uh -huh. your, to your question, I am very much a painter of people in that way. Because yeah, in my true. landscape, invite people into the... In, the invite, yes. Yes, and they, they, they become part of it. Whosoever see it becomes a part of it. It's a visual treat and right. they want to be part of it. It's very interactive actually. Yeah. As you said just now that uh, uh, you are now getting saturated with texture. But uh, when one looks at your works, one feels that uh, in landscape you have created so many variations. Yeah, it's you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to answer that question actually which I told in my slideshow, mm -hmm. my pigment became heavier and heavier. Hmm. Yeah, it became, it, it, I almost now sculpt my it's, surface. It's kind of sculpted. Uh, yes, I sculpt my sculpted surface. Nature, yeah. And now uh, it has some limit, you know. You mm -hmm. cannot impose everything, go on and on and on mm -hmm. and it become more heavy then the color will stop falling and on its own. <laughs> no. hmm. So that is apart from the joke, you hmm. know, I am now full with that. Hmm. Ah, so I am now little saturated with that. So I am hoping for the, some blessing hmm. that how I come, how I move on from here. So that's my desire inside. I, it, nature will be there, everything will be there, colors will be there. My favorite colors will be there, my combinations will be there, but the pictorial surface I want to give a little uh, different, uh, that is in my mind I can't express. I, if I am successful mm. in future, in coming it's years in my there. painting, mm. then it is expressed there. Here I, it's difficult to express that. As usual, mm. I am sure you will come across with a new chapter in landscape uh, yeah. paintings. And nature is such a thing, it's, it's, uh, an it's never ending. unending. It's, it's unending. unending and many aspects and little, little things, how they communicate with leaves and branches and grass and these things, they communicate with either, each other. The wind blows and they communicate in different ways. The light falls evening light, morning light, noon light, and then they communicate in different ways. They, there's so much food. There's so much eat, food, yes, yeah, that's true. Uh, 